Hey guys! So as we couldn't get enough of the Gold Coast hinterland, from Shipstern we visited Mount Tambourine and the Red Cedar Falls. Just at the entrance of the National Park, we stayed at an Airbnb place. In the morning, we saw some local birds, such as bush turkeys and ducks, and also some colorful parrots. Your eyes makes me come alive, and I'll see no rain or dark cloud sky. After our breakfast, we went to do the tree top challenge was really fun we had to cross between trees on a single rope and also had to pull uh, ourselves from one tree to the other just using our hands we also climbed walls and did tricks like uh, the flying fox which was more like uh, a zipline experience where you just uh, fly between trees on a zipline it was really fun you definitely need to go there if you haven't been After Mount Tambourine, we finally arrived to Brisbane. In Brisbane, we did some sightseeing. We did a walk on the bank and enjoyed some of its parks. In the evening, we did a sightseeing cruise on Brisbane River. We timed it really well because we managed to see this city during daylight and nighttime as well, just when the sun was going down. Shade of grey tonight The sun will come up without a fight With a sunrise that gleams Like the cover of a magazine All good things take time I take it all in Just to let it all out should have known I'd be in it this day. Can you hear the warning bell? After the cruise, we went to a really cool place called Eat Street, which is a street food festival. There you can try different kinds of food and also listen to live music. Today we went to Mount Kuta Lookout, where you could see the whole city from the top. I 
also managed to join a sailing race in the bay, which was really cool because I really wanted to do a bit of sailing again. From Brisbane, we went to Grasshouse Mountains, which are old volcanic plugs and have very specific shapes. The mountains were named by Captain James Cook, as their shape reminded him of the huge glass furnaces back in his home. Hi guys, we received a lot of feedback in the last couple of weeks about what to include in the videos and that's great because we are working on improving them and your suggestions are very welcome. And because of that, we are working on an episode where we would answer all your questions that you might have about how we live and what we eat, how we sleep, where we sleep, where we have showers, all that kind of stuff. So if you have anything on your mind that you're interested in, please put a comment below on, under the video and we will include that in the next upcoming video. Also, in the next episode, we are going to share our first off-road experience when we drive uh, not only on Tiva Beach and Rainbow Beach, but we go across to Fraser Island and we really enjoy this part. So be sure that you subscribe and watch our next episode. Cheers! Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel.